Hey guys, this is Cody with EJ and your PJs and welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be continuing on our inventory so let's get started. So what we want to do, let's go to scripts, let's go to inventory, let's open up our inventory script. So now, let's go down here, I'm going to paste this code right here. I want you guys to copy this down. So what we're doing is I added a bool called add item and we're getting the class item when we're calling it item. If is full is set to true, then we're going to return it as false. And then inside this bool, we want to get our items, items.add, so we want to add an item. And then in these parentheses, write item. So we're adding an item, refresh UI so the UI gets updated, and then we'll return it as true. And we create another bool here called remove item. We're getting our item, we're calling it item. If items.remove item, then refresh UI. So if an item gets removed, then we will refresh UI again. And then inside our is full, that's if the items.count is larger than or equal to the item slots.length. So we can detect if our items is maxed out or not. Let's save this, head back to Unity. Now let's go into our grid, let's go to the ground layer, and let's set the sword and layer to negative one. Now we're going to create a new sprite. We're going to call this barrel. This will be our barrel. Add the barrel sprite to it. Add a component and we're going to call it item pickup. Let's go into our assets and we're just real quick going to drag the script item pickup to our inventory folder inside scripts. Now let's open up the script. I'm going to paste this code right here. We've got the set of variables and we want them all to be private but we want them to be shown in the unity editor so we type serialize field. We want to get our item and we call it item so we can drag an item to that slot when it's in the unity editor. We want to get our inventory and call it inventory. Right here we're getting a key code and we're going to call it item pickup key code equals key code dot e. So if we go back to Unity, you could see that we could set this item pickup key code to whatever we want. This is the key that we want to push to collect our barrel. Then we want to get our player, so we write game object, player game object, and then we created a bool called in range. So inside this update function, we're checking if in range equals true. So if it's true, and we push down the key code of this right here, so in this case it'll be the letter E, then we're gonna get our inventory script and we're gonna run the function add item and call it item. So we're gonna add whatever this item is. And then we're gonna destroy the game object. And then public void on trigger enter 2D. Once we enter the circle collider, then if collision that game object equals player game object, so whatever this is set to, which it'll be set as our player, then in range equals true. And then if we leave that collider, then in range equals false. So let's save that. Right here we want to set this item as barrel item. So if we click here, it's right there. You can double click barrel or go to items and then we can just drag this in like that and then for inventory we need to get our inventory script that's going to be inside the inventory panel which is down here or we can just drag this in from the hierarchy and then for a player game object we need to get our player so let's drag our player here let's save the game real quick I'm just gonna drag this barrel up here now let's play and test it out so we're walking around, this enemy can follow us. If we head up to the barrel, oh wait, we forgot something. We need to add a circle collider 2D and a box collider 2D. So let's go over here. Let's first add a box collider. What we want to do is set it so it goes exactly around the barrel. That looks good. Now let's add a circle collider. And we want to set the radius to 0.8. This circle collider is to detect whether or not we go inside it. Oh yeah, one thing we need to do is check is trigger. Now we're done. So let's play this, let's test it out. So I press E and then boom, the barrel gets added to the inventory. Hey okay, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. In the next video, I'm gonna teach you guys how to make tool tips. So for example, if we hover over this barrel box or icon will pop up and it'll say barrel and then it'll give information about it. So guys, subscribe for more awesome content, like the video, and I'll see you in the next video.